and I want you to also stop worrying and start remembering God's faithfulness, how he has helped to bring you through situations in the past. You know, we as human beings, we tend to look back to our past and we look back at the condemnation from the enemy Satan, the lies from Satan, telling us that we're worthless, telling us that we're no good, telling us that we can't do this or we can't do that. The enemy Satan wants to tear you down. He wants to lie, steal and destroy you emotionally, physically and mentally and spiritually if he can. But you've got to magnify God, not your problem. So don't look back in your past at your past problems. Look at God's faithfulness. If you're going to look back into the past, look back at God's faithfulness and say, yeah, I remember. God did this great thing for me. God brought me through that valley. God brought me through that problem. God Almighty brought me through that situation. God Almighty cleared the way, cleared all the obstacles out of my way. And he gave me a clear path because God is the light to our feet, the lamp to our feet and the light to our path. And when we turn to him for wisdom, he will straighten our paths. You see, when we try to do things under our own strength, we are weak. What can we achieve under our own strength? We must turn to God. We must trust God. We must remember his faithfulness. Everything that he has done for us, everything that he's brought to pass in our lives, in my life, in your life, whatever he has brought to pass, Hold on to that faithfulness. Use his faithfulness, the memory of his faithfulness, what he did for you as a stepping stone to propel you forward, propel you forward to getting through your difficulty, your problem, your situation. Help him, uh, ask him to help you to navigate through. And I want you to know that God is faithful and you won't be going through this valley on your own and, and God will not be waiting at the other side of the valley for you because God Almighty, God Almighty will be with you, holding your hand, navigating you all the way through. Isn't that a beautiful thought? But it's a true thought. He won't just say, come through and I'll meet you at the other side. He said, no, I'm going with you. Like the scripture said, Jesus got in the boat and he went across to the other side with his disciples and he'll do the same for you all the way through.